everybody. Good morning. This is Teresa with Equestra Safe, and I got to talk to you about some safety tips. Um, today I'm talking about the rear end of your trailer. Yes, the rear end of your trailer. So, to me, coming up behind a trailer, and it's happened to me before as we've traveled, we've come up behind a dark trailer as this one, or a black trailer even, that has no reflectability on it at all. The one we pulled up behind had no lights on it either, and it was getting on the freeway. So I want to talk to you about this trailer because it's built a little bit different and you might think, oh, I can't put DOT striping on here. I can't put reflectability on here. Well, yes, you can. All right. This is a very, very dark trailer. And in the middle of the night, if they're pulling in the middle of the night for some reason and their lights go out, this is going to be a difficult trailer for anybody to see. You're going to see this trailer maybe when you get in with about 15 or 20 feet. And heaven forbid they slow down or they stop and you're going to end up in the back side of this trailer. So let's talk about some DOT striping on this trailer, where it might go and how it can help. First of all, it's an open trailer. The doors on the top here are missing. So we can't put anything high, but we sure can put a bunch of stuff here low. First thing I would do is put some DOT striping right down here at the bottom. I might even add some in here. I'd put my caution horses or please stay back in a white not a black, not a red because of this trailer, and we all want to be color coordinated, you know how that is. But I would put my caution horses maybe right down here, down the middle of these two. I'd add some DOT striping up here at the top, right here, and I'd add corners. And again, I'd add it down here at the bottom. Now this has ridges because this is a ramp trailer, so you don't want to put it on the ridges, but anything in between here is going to be good. Um, we can even customize it so it's a little bit smaller but we can customize this so that you could get your caution horses if you wanted it in this manner. Okay, we could do that. Otherwise, it's gonna go straight down. We'll put caution horses vertically on this trailer. And like I said, add DOT striping all the way down the side, all the way down here. You could even put it down here if you wanted to, but you'd be covering up some of their decals that they already have from the manufacturer. Again, DOT striping is not required by your manufacturer on the back of your trailer. But on a trailer like this that is dark, if your lights go out and you're hauling at night, you could have a problem. So you want to be seen, and the more reflectability that you have on the back of the trailer, the better off you're going to be. Hope that helps you understand why I'm so passionate about this. And if you have any further questions, see equestrasafe.com or www.equestrasafe.com. If you have any other questions, you can email me also at info at equestrasafe.com. And I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe out there on the road.